Hey guys, we are here in my messy ass basement stacked with books and signs from McFarlane and statues and toys and all kinds of stuff because it was the only room big enough where I could open this and not have a problem. Yep, because it's going to be big. So uh, let's open it up and see what we got. You know how hard this is to do with one hand? I don't know how anybody does this. I know how they do it. They press pause. See, just like that, and then the box is open. It's like magic. All right, so in a world where Monster High gets uh, classrooms and schools and dream houses and Barbie has jets and all kinds of stuff, uh, us collectors of six and seven inch things, uh, don't really get play sets anymore, but holy crap, this is heavy. Neck has changed all that. Whoa, that weighs a lot. So check this out. This is NECA's Street Scene Diorama. This was first released as part of a San Diego Comic-Con thing, I believe, with uh, Ninja Turtles from the movie in six inches. And uh, I think I think it was also customized so that it was Ninja Turtle-esque. So this is the mass retail version of that. Check out that box. Get this stuff out of the way. Uh, here's the back of the box. So if you see, there's a little thing on top. You could switch from day to night. And here's the wordage. Two feet wide. So, uh, yeah. I wonder if this will actually... Well, it's probably going to be too tall to fit on a shelf. If you wanted to... Uh, just do a whole scene on your average shelf. Um, I'm going to say it's probably too high. Well, yeah, it says, uh, well, no, that doesn't say how tall it is, does it? Let's see that anywhere. Split 30 figures at once. Oh, two feet tall. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, that's too tall to fit on your average shelf. But that's an awesome size if you're a photographer like me who likes to shoot battle scenes and whatnot, and uh, would like the ability to shoot upward without getting a crappy wall in the shot, which breaks all, uh, all sense of drama in your picture. So, uh, all right, let's crack this open and see what's in here. So inside the box is another box. Very clever. Very clever, Andy. Alright, so you gotta open this one. Okay, so you know how those little scenes on the top of the building looked small? Well, they're not. That's what goes on top of the building. See, here's my hand. For scale. So, that's the night. Um, I'm assuming both of them are in here, so not reversible, so you actually get two separate scenes. I can open this thing with one hand. There we go, so here's the night, that's the night sky. And, oh, it is reversible. Okay. I was wrong. Here's the day. Okay, so I guess this is the top of the building. And then you do like this. I 
assume that's how it works. So that's going to be the top of the building. And that's the background. Uh, would have been good that this were not glossy. Because, as you can see, it's going to catch every light that you use is going to reflect in this. But, uh, hmm, you're going to have to use soft lights. Or, uh, bounce your light, or diffuse your light, or whatever tricks you want to pull. Just know that you're going to get that happening. Okay, so let's see what else is in here. Uh, building itself should not have those problems because it is plastic. And uh, from what I have heard, it's got a flat paint. So let's check it out. Okay, so we got six separate bags, all of these pieces in it. I don't know what's what yet. I have not looked, but the one thing I did notice immediately when I was holding these oddly, um, the front of this building like pops out. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. It was engineered like that. If it's supposed to look like you can blow out the windows or I'm not sure. <laughs> I won't know until I get it together, but uh, that's the thing, see, see that, whoops, that wasn't straight at all, was it, here, see, as soon as I picked it up, it kind of pops out, I don't know if that's intentional yet, we'll have to read the instructions, so there's a front, I guess this is the ground level, Got the door. Does it go up? No, that does not go up. Ooh, arrows on him. That arrow is down. That arrow is up. I don't know what that means. I don't know. But there's all these little sections, see? That pop out. Hmm. That can be interesting. And there's these pieces were in one of the bags. I don't know if these are the bases. This is the street level, I would assume. Not sure if that's the top or not. And then there's this box, which I have to open. Okay, so in this box is something else. I guess these are the supports and little doodads. They're going to keep this thing together. This is going to be a project, isn't it? Uh, let's see what the instructions look like. What does that one say? Make a diorama assembly instruction. Now that's page five. That's already way down the line. Five. Four. Three. Window glass attachment. Huh. Interesting. So, did they mean for those walls to come out? Or did they just come out so you could put the windows in them? Hmm, that's a good question. Two, one, doesn't really say anything about the walls. Huh, so, all right, so before we put this together, I wanna see what happens when you pop out one of these walls. I mean, we know they were meant to come out, um, it's not sounding too much like I'm breaking it, so I assume it's going to go back in. Uh, 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 come 
hanging out pretty easily. Okay, so that's out. So, I suppose this was done so I can put those windows in. Maybe. Yeah, so, so when you put the windows in, it's like that. But, um, I mean, you could come in and you could paint all this. So that it looks like black or something like that. So like somebody punched out a piece of the building. You could easily put some art behind it of like somebody sitting at their desk eating cereal looking surprised. That could be cool. Huh. Alright. That's interesting. Uh gonna pop back in just as easy as it came out yep see okay that's an interesting feature that we can use for battle damage of some sort uh, sorry the camera keeps flipping that's totally my bad um, all right so I am gonna put this together and uh, when I come back, I will tell you how long it took and what made me want to kill people. And, uh, and then you'll see how cool this thing is, right? Be back in a bit. Okay, so after the parts list, they go into detail about how they want you to put this together. And they do want you to start with the windows. Uh, the windows, after you pop the piece off, like I showed you before. The windows have little holes at the top corners. Yep, you can see it. And there's little pegs behind the thing. They fit perfect. Everything is nice. Uh, noticing that the plastic that I'm putting on has got some visible like scuffs in it. You can see it. See? It's pretty scuffy. Um, that's the kind of plexi that gives us nightmares at Toy Fair. But uh, I don't know how it's going to affect us with photography, but just know that that is a fact of life. So you pop that back on. And then you got windows. And that's not too noticeable. That's a good thing. Let's see what happens when we take some pictures. Because I foresee we're going to get a lot of use out of this diorama. We've been begging for a city street scene for a very long time. So that's how you pop in the windows. Let's see what's next. Okay, so two things I'm noticing as I'm going along. Uh, one, you're going to be real trepidatious with these window pieces because uh, just with working with adult collector figures, you might think something might break easily. We have stupid fingers as adults. But uh, all I did was I reached in from the back and I just pushed at the top like that. You'll see it comes out a bit. And then since there was no window here before, there's a window in here now. I just pulled a little bit and it comes right out. Comes out very easily if you do it that way. Um, if you try it from the bottom, it feels like it's a little harder. It'll make some noises that'll make you think it's breaking. It's not breaking. It's just coming apart. So do not worry. It was very easy. Okay, second thing I noticed was the sidewalls that connect are very specific. So you'll see it says S1 there, and then it says S1 there. So these are super specific because these little, it just plugs in, they're just little plugs, little locks, and uh, if they don't go in the right way, you're gonna have a hell of a time if this is reversed. So just know that that needs to be right, very specific, unforgiving, 
And if you put that in before, see the little tabs down here? See that right there? That's all that you do to get this in there, is you, you shove these in there. Oops, camera's gonna keep flipping. Uh, you shove those in there, and then you plug those in there. So it's very simple, but if you do it before you go to put this all in, it's gonna be way easier. Okay, here's another note. Now, you'll notice that there were pegs over there, and there's little slots over here that that had to plug into. Uh, the easiest way to get it in was I pushed this side down into the pegs, and then I went to the front, and I put these bits in. And so then you get to about here, and it'll fight you a little bit. Whoop, sorry, flipped it again. So then you go to this end, and you push this down into the pegs, and then you just kind of jiggle the front, and they'll slip in real easy. Uh, none of this was a pain in the butt. Once I just kind of let it be, and I was easy with it, nothing sounded like it was breaking. Everything looks sturdy, so now we'll start the next level, I suppose. So another fun thing I'm noticing is that this pipe here, uh, I think it will slip out entirely from the thing. So uh, if you want to have a, a knockdown drag out fight, your super powered being can yank this pipe off the wall. I guess when he's on the roof, otherwise it's not going to come out and uh, use it to pummel the other guy. Uh, does it go back in the hole when you're done is the question. Because I've just pulled it out. Yep, it goes right back in. Okay. So, never fear, you can demolish things. That's very cool. It's a lot of unexpected little things like this. Like, so, so look, so here's the front. And uh, see how there's like another section of wall? That looks like it comes out. Now, I don't know if we have plans for that or something, but uh, it does look like it comes out. So... Maybe we can make somebody barrel through the wall. Um, I could very easily make an insert the inside that would look like the broken apart wall. And then it would give the appearance when there's a hole. Well, let's see if this comes out. Screw it. Let's check it out. I mean, what's the fun if we don't play with this thing? Um, I will note, this is fighting me. <laughs> I do not think it wants to come out, so uh, maybe we'll put the whole thing together and see how it looks complete, and uh, then we'll break it <laughs> and see if we can make a punch through the wall. Okay, I mean, it'll go back in, definitely, if I break this out, uh, so I'm not super concerned, but uh, it does it does feel like it doesn't want to come out, so... I'm not going to force it just yet. Let's build the whole thing first, right? All right. Okay, so first level, second level went on just as easy. Um, I noticed that when I put the centerpiece on, the pipe doesn't go right to the top. So that's something you will notice right off the bat. Um, and then it just kind of just sits there on the bottom so it doesn't be good if there was like a little hole there or something some sort of junction so it looked like it was I don't know isn't it supposed to be like drainage or something I suppose does it do it here too it more, looks like it's needing more here than it does there there not so much um, I also noticed that when I put the roof on it's got the little holes on the side so it pegs in but the middle is a little, a little wobbly. I don't know if I'm missing that it's supposed to peg into something or uh, the instructions don't say that anything in particular is supposed to happen, but uh, I'm assuming this is how it goes because that's where the pegs are. So the roofs are a little wiggly at the center, but only pushing up. Um, so I mean, down on it. When you got figures standing on here, 
it's all going to be fine. Um, just know that as soon as you go to move this, you might pull this right up. So be careful. Um, I don't know what happens if this splits. Uh, I would assume it breaks because it doesn't look like it's supposed to go apart. So be careful when you move this because this will probably break. And this. I mean, it looks like it comes apart at this seam, but I don't think it's supposed to be apart. So don't cry if it breaks. Be careful. Uh, let's see what else goes on here. Oh, yeah, here's another weird thing. So now there's these little holes all through here. And maybe they're there for something they planned, or maybe they're there for something custom you can do in the future. Uh, but for now, it stands there standing out. I mean, you can see the light coming right through them. So they are an eyesore. So what NECA has done is giving you a whole bag. I can open the damn thing. Whole bag of bricks. And you take the bricks and very simply shove them in the holes. Uh, they go in easy. Uh, I don't know if they're well, are they color coded? Because that doesn't match. I don't know. Are there like dark ones and light ones? I can't tell. Are they all the same color? I think they're all the same color. Uh, hmm. Who's gonna bother me? Uh, I have a little bit of an OCD. So, if these color, if these bricks all don't match, then, uh, I'm going to be a little upset. That one matched perfectly. Was it just that one brick? That's weird. Just that that one brick is just going to that's just going to sort of ruin my day. That one brick right there. <laughs> uh, oops, here's another one. This one doesn't want to go in all the way. Oh, well, that one's in. See, so so I guess see you can't even see where that other one was. It's gone. But that one, that one right there, is going to be the bane of my existence. Uh, it looks like the rest of them match up, like, perfectly, so. See? Where'd I put it? Where'd it go? You don't know. It's already in there. Then, yeah, see? So... I, I guess the rest of these are good, but uh, that one brick, man, man, that one brick, man. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, all my bricks are in, uh, all 40 of them, if I am to believe the instructions. Uh, you'll note that there were more triggering bricks that do not match. <laughs> The color scheme. I'm sure you can spot them. You can see them. They stand out. Um, I have two extra bricks. One which is fine and one that doesn't have a peg. So that's good that I had them all in there. Um, so yeah, so all of the bricks are in. Um, around the back you'll notice that the bricks actually stand out. Yeah, they're sticking out. So you could pop them right back out. So if there are future plans for this set that involve utilizing all of those holes, you'll be able to get those bricks back out. Um, now you'll notice that some of this, the window pieces aren't square. Uh, what I noticed before was if you hold it sideways, you can push everything in as much as you can. Which I will do when I'm just about done. And then everything will look like it's squared up. But this is what we got so far. And now I'm going to put on some bracers. These little guys. These actually go on the top. So they hold up the top of the roof so there will be no more wiggle. 
which was great. So that takes care of that one problem I was telling you about. Uh, another problem taken care of is on the inside, I didn't realize, because it's not in the instructions, that there are little lips, and the little lip goes around the top of this. So if you notice, see it doesn't move anymore? Because it's plugged in. So they did think of that, and it is taken care of. Um, through that pipe still does not match up, but uh, one less thing to worry about that the roof isn't wiggly. So you don't have to worry about cracking this too much when it is all plugged in. So uh, let me see what I got to put in together next. Okay, now we've got the bracers in. Those little pieces we just showed you. Uh, that is so any kind of weight that you put on the roof is going to be held up to an extent. I mean, these are not the most brilliant thing in the world, but... It's ingenious for what it needs to do at a low cost. So, it's better than not having them at all. Absolutely. 100%. Because when you put guys on top of that roof, you don't want it to sag. Which it will, because it's very flimsy. But, with these in here, well, this one keeps coming out. See, because it's just little pegs. All they do is peg in. And all they're supposed to do is support the weight up against the wall. So, it's not foolproof, but it's a very good idea to have in there. So see how all well that works? Alright, so that's in. Uh, I got some more pieces. Let's figure out what they do. Alright, so we plugged in these little step pieces. One is there, and there. And there, and then there's one there, and then there, and then there. And what's going to happen is uh, that backdrop that we thought was going across the top goes across the back. So that fills in this whole back area. Um, which kind of sucks because then you don't get access to the back anymore. You can't have anybody peeking out the windows. Um, hmm. I mean, you could always pull open the window. You could always pull off the, the front of the thing and pop your guy inside, but it's, uh, hmm. Not super, super good. So, let me see. The instructions say, after attaching the backboard supports, fix the cardboard backdrop by using Six plugs and follow the arrows as indicated the image above. The holes in the cardboard align the holes, blah, 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 blah. Backdrop is reversible for multiple options. Okay, so um, let's take a look at the backdrop and see if... If there's a bend, like here, or even here, um, no, that's not going to work, because then how is it going to hold it up? Damn. See, because I want to use all these windows from the inside, too. I want like guys peeking out the windows and I want to get somebody to get me windows that are like smashed out or like with bullet holes, which should be very easy to do because these are just little pieces of plexi with those little tiny holes, right? So what we want is like a, a cutout like that. So like he cracked out the window and he's got like the gun like out the window like this. That's what I'm going to want eventually. Um, I mean, and I can do that by pulling out the front. But getting the guy to stand up in here right is going to be tricky if all I've got is this space. Um, and they're going to fall over because everything falls over two minutes later. So, um, All right, so that's something we have to think about. But uh, let's put it all together and see how it all looks. And then we will address our modification concerns uh, as soon as it's all together and we see what our limitations are. Okay? All right, let's put that back on. Okay, so we've got the back on. That's how it looks with the night sky. Very cool. Um, and that's how it looks through the windows with the back on, which is like a dark gray, if I recall. Um, you'll notice there's some light peeking through. It's because we cheated. Let me show you. Whoops, 
I already lost the plug. Okay, so see, when you don't put all the plugs in, they're going to pop out. But what we did was we put the first two plugs in on the top to hold the top in. And then we would have a little gap here. Um, hang on, let me put it back on so I can show you right. Okay, so you see we got the first two plugs in. One, two. Um, I did note that the plugs popped out very easily, which is going to be a positive because you're not going to want to keep this thing on the whole time. Otherwise, you can't use the inside. So, But what we did just by putting those two on, I mean, if this is up against a wall, as you're probably going to use it when you shoot, um, it'll hold the hole back on. But until you've got everything done that you want to get done inside, you want this flat. So you can get underneath it. And you could work with this space, putting guys in the windows. You can get some lights going on in here and stuff, um, and so on and so forth. Um, so that's the whole thing. That's how it looks. All together. Now we're going to pop that back off. And, because I want you guys to see, see that comes off really easy? Now, this whole back area is going to be a playground for you customizers, because there's so much you could do. Like, this could be an armory with all guns and stuff. Strapped to the walls, you could utilize all of this space in here to put in shelves, or uh, bars across, or... Um, what do they call it? Grid wall. You can make some little grid wall and pop them right in between these slats. See all of that? And then you can hang all of your weapons because since this is a small area on the top, that's probably all it's good for is like a single figure or two with all weapons. Um, you could probably work it so you pop out one of these as well since these are grooved um, there's a possibility that you can pop one out and do like a ladder or a staircase if you're that industrious leading down to the other level um, if it's a hideout it's probably easy enough just to do a ladder um, but most places have staircases, so maybe you want to just take out the end one, because then the end one won't... Um, actually, no, you won't want to do the end one. You want to do like that one, so it won't mess with the, uh, the balance of the whole piece. You pop out that one, and then you can do a staircase going straight down into here, which would be cool. Um, or like a spiral staircase. That would be even cooler, because then you can go straight down, and then that could be like another thing holding up this whole level, because it's still a little wheelie. Probably get a spiral staircase from a dollhouse or something. That would be awesome. So the real gem here is this whole back area, because it's huge. Now, all of the space could very easily come in with a cardboard backdrop for uh, anything you want. Um, there is no door. But like I said, this bit right here comes out. That's supposed to be the door right there. Um, I don't know that it does anything. It certainly doesn't roll up. But I mean, this whole thing does come out. So you could uh, do something. Um, I don't know. You want to see what goes on with this door when I pull it out? Let's see what we can do with it. Maybe it just comes out. It's coming out easy enough. Be careful. I don't want to break this thing. It's wiggly, which will give you the sense that you want to wiggle it more, but then when you hear that snap, you'll be sorry. It wants to come out.
So it doesn't feel like the door comes off, um, which is a shame. I do want to do something with the door. Come on, man. Hang on. Okay, we got the door off. Um, it is one solid piece. A little arrow down, I don't know why. Maybe this was meant to go up and down? I don't know, but I really want to put in a door that opens, rolls up or something, or, or make another door so that I can go in and out. That's going to be a customizer job for sure. Um, I don't know what I could do with that piece of wall, but that could be a breakaway part. Make just another piece. See, the cool thing about this is that these are all pieces that pop in. So you could use this template and you could make a door with everybody that's got those 3D printers. You're gonna, people are gonna be popping out pieces for this set for a long time to come. This is just like one of the best thought out sets I've ever seen. I've been buying play sets to use for photography for a really long time. I've got so many play sets that you wouldn't think are usable for like six inch figures that I've used like the, the Van Helsing playset and the Narnia playset and so many of those playsets are not scaled for what I use them for but it works out very nicely um, but yeah see so you get this solid piece somebody could very easily scan this and 3d print a door and pop that on there and then you got a door and then this piece will come out from the wall and then you can make a big hole in the wall for when your fight goes through the wall and then like I said before we could have some fun with these windows make some break broken windows make some bullet hole windows um, there's a lot we can do here um, I'm sure there's things we can add too with all of those little spots that are there every every place that we put in a brick there's a hole and we can peg something into that hole so just like this pegged in and sat there perfectly, see, it's just, that's all this is. It just pegged into a brick spot. So you could either utilize that hole or you could utilize the whole brick. And there's a lot of things you can do here. Putting up signage and putting up like a, oh, you know what we could do? We could rig, uh, there's a, a toy biz figure of a criminal that's like webbed up to the wall. I wonder if we could rig him to one of these walls with one of those holes. Ah, uh, there's so much stuff we're gonna try. We're gonna do a whole bunch of videos where we try different things with this setup because it's gonna be very cool. So, um, all right, so the only thing left to do is to grab some figures and show you the scale of this thing so you know what you can use it with. So, let me go grab some guys and I will show you what you can do. Okay, since this is a NECA product, we should christen it with a NECA figure. So we've got the Wellhouse Pennywise, which just came out. Uh, just want to show you for the sake of scale. He is in their typical 7 inch scale. Then you can see that the doorway just fit them. So maybe it was meant more for six inch stuff. Um, so you see we pulled out that bit of wall that I wanted to pull out. Um, it still looks like a doorway on the other side, but now you can do something like this. And that looks way cooler. Wait, let's take this away. Wait. Now you can taunt the children. Come play with us. Yeah, looks better in that doorway than he did in that one. Um, I'm not sure why. Maybe it's not all the way down. How's that look? Nope. Still looks better there. Well. So, that's how your NECA figures are going to look. Um, you want to see them on the upper level. There you go.
go. So that's Pennywise peeking through the window. Whoops, he's gonna fall over. Why are you falling over? That looks cool. See? That's why you want access to the windows. So you can do stuff like that. Um, but what I really wanted a city street set up for was this. So without any backdrops or anything, uh, in honor of Captain Marvel coming out in theaters, this is what I always want to do. The big battle scenes. I always wanted to do a big city street battle with lots going on. Lots of little side characters. Lots of things to see. And lots of space I can work with. So. Here's our scroll battle. Talos wants none of it. Hulk coming through the wall, smashing the ground. Got an invisible scroll over here lighting a fire. Blows up the barrel. Launches that giant man. He's on fire. Because there's a scroll up here, setting him on fire. There's a scroll over here, old school scroll, in the comic books. Firing, you got a super scroll over here, that's a giant. So, just wanted you to see different scales of figures. And with the playset, and then how the city street works. Well, how the front of the NECA building, I should say, works to make a city street. So, this is actually the top of the uh, Ninja Turtles playset. If you just yank off the top, it's a piece of city street. And you get a utility pole, and you get a light, and you get a balcony. And you get a trash can dumpster. Uh, I pick up these barrels from the WWE figures. I picked up this dumpster from the WWE figures. This is actually a 12 inch scaled, I think it's World Peacekeepers set. This is what I used to use all the time. But to give you an idea what you could do when you get all this stuff together. Right. Where'd you go?